Breaking news coming through this afternoon. Cape Town Mayor Patricia Delo and J.P. Smith have been placed on a special leave from DA activities in the Cape Metro. According to a DA statement, party, uh, party leader Musi Maimane called both Mayor Delo and Smith to account for their actions at a meeting held last night. Following that meeting, the two leaders have been placed on leave until a DA federal executive investigation can be concluded. This comes after Dillow lashed out at Smith on Monday via a press release in which she accused him of dragging her name through the mud for claims he had made about the closure of a city anti-crime unit. This is breaking news coming through this afternoon with regards to uh, Patricia Dillow as well as J.P. Smith. But joining us now to discuss this further and give us uh, details is ANN 7's assignment editor, Mr. Buntu Williams, joins us on the phone line. Good afternoon to you, Buntu. Just give us some background details with regards to all of the uh, incidences that led up to this moment of uh, being placed on special leave. Well, Abigail, uh, very good afternoon to you and good afternoon to ANN 7 viewers. You will understand that as of uh, just a few moments, a moment ago, a statement from the DA announcing that uh, the mayor and the mayor of committee member, uh, J.P. Smith, have been um, suspended from the activities in the city, which is uh, also something to raise eyebrows, considering over the last uh, few days they have uh, dismissed the matter as operational something within the city, but now the DA decides to act um, so that this essentially happened is that the mayor released a statement uh, where she felt aggrieved that uh, there were statements malicious and damaging to her name by J.P. Smith over uh, allegations that she was trying to shut down the city's special investigative unit because it could possibly uh, probe or would have, would have found a corrupt link um, uh, when her house, when security upgrades were conducted, were, were, were constructed at her home, private home in Pineland, in Cape Town. So basically then the mayor, uh, Patricia Delil, feels that this is defamatory and has briefed the lawyers apparently and uh, is very upset with J.P. Smith. And J.P. Smith, for his part, um, you know, uh, has said he's not. He's been instructed not to comment on the matter. We have also tried to, of course. Um, but the key thing is that it seems that in 2016 that the city did an organizational reorganization of this of uh, the city's structures, governance structures, and they found that the unit may not be complying uh, with the legislation in the sense that they were not the police and that they could be exceeding their mandate. So as a result, they had to be reorganized or shut down. So they sought external opinion. Um, now, J.P. Smith, it comes up now, and J.P. Smith is alleged to have inferred that the city could, the, the special investigative unit of the city could find a link between corruption and the construction of uh, some security upgrades at the house of uh, Mayor Delil. Now, the report that some one within the department, um, the mayor's department, a whistleblower, has made the allegations of corruption and flouting of procurement procedures. And so all of this from around the small matter of the special investigative unit, the link to the mayor's home and security upgrades there, and the fact that the mayor has been trying to close it, and apparently J.P. Smith having complained to the leader of the party, Musi Maimane. And they have since met, and it's been decided that the two will not be uh, participating in uh, DA platforms in the city. Hmm. Buntu, with regards, with regards to, to the concept uh, of special leave, we know that a probe or an investigation will continue now, but what are the steps involved here with regards to action taken? Well, there's no real action. I think the party is just trying to manage the political fallout. So if you're going to have these two bulls, um, you know, bashing it out in public, uh, the grass is going to suffer. And that grass is the DA's constituency and the party standing. And, uh, you know, the tensions will be palpable in the air. And this will cause results in rather, you know, uh, uh, undesirable um, uh, effects or impact consequence, um, you know, um, on members of the party or the party faithful and so on. So I suppose the party is just trying to minimize the political fallout that could possibly result from this. Previously, it's missed it as operational matters. 
therefore saying we have nothing to do with this. It's something to do with the city. And, uh, of course, separation of, uh, you know, uh, the city from, from the Western Cape government or the DA as a party itself. So now they come around again and they meet the parties involved in this uh, spat. And then they, they make a decision that they should not be engaging on the on DA platforms and therefore are suspended from the activities. So that tells you that the party is probably just trying to manage the fallout from this. At the moment, this is what we know. There are nobody suspended, but from DA activities. All right, thank you very much, Buntu, for that clarification. Uh, that was ANN 7's assignment editor, Mr. Buntu Williams, joining us on the phone line, just elaborating on this breaking news that came through moments ago. Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille, as well as J.P. Smith, have been placed on special leave from DA activities in the Cape Metro. According to that Democratic Alliance statement, the party leader, Musi Mamane, called both Mayor DeLille, as well as Smith, to account for their actions at a meeting held last night. Following that meeting, uh, the two leaders have been placed on leave until the DA federal executive investigation can be concluded. Stay tuned to ANN7. We are going to keep you up to date with any further details and developments with regards to the story.